Hi, I'm Samantha Clayton, fitness expert and former competitive sprinter. I'm working with Herbalife to help you achieve a healthy, active life. Today, I want to show you a workout for your chest and back muscles. With our modern lifestyle of sitting at a desk all day, it's very common for people to have weak back muscles and tight chest muscles. Although I will often say my back muscles are tight, in fact, usually the opposite is true. They're overstretched and my chest muscles are tight. Why not warm up and then join me as I do a balanced body chest and back workout. You'll need a set of dumbbells that are a nice weight. Go ahead, pick up your dumbbells and I want you to stand in athletic stance. Feet just slightly wider than shoulders width apart, slight bend in the knee and you're going to hinge forward at the hips, let the weights hang down to the chest and what I want you to do is pull the weights to the chest and back down. Pull up and back down. Again, you want to make sure that you hinged at the hip, hips, pushing your glutes back and you want to feel like your shoulder blades are pulling together. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Your eyes should be looking just down in front of you, slightly out in front. And again, a nice controlled motion. Up to the chest, lowering back down. And that was nice 12. And so let's go on to our press. I want you to bring the weights to the shoulders and we're just gonna push the weights up front and turn the weights out and come back down. It's really great if you don't go directly overhead. Notice how the weights are coming out in front and not directly overhead. Again, nice tight core, athletic stance, very slight bend in the knees. Adding that rotation at the end really works the chest muscles. We're gonna do about 12 of each exercise. Let's give me one more. And now we're gonna take it down to the floor and do what I call a plank row. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into a plank position, but you're gonna hold on to one weight. So I want you to be balanced. So the wider your base, the better it is. I want you to hold on to the weight and we're just gonna do six on one arm, pulling the elbow back, lowering to the floor. You want to keep your hips square. Really going to have to engage your core for this move. One more. Place the weight down. Take a little breather. Switch sides. Find that perfect plank position. Nice wide base. Picking up the weight. Again, pulling the elbow back. Weight up to your chest. Three more. Really feel the muscles working. Great job. You can always try that without weights to start with, just lifting the hand up. So now we're gonna move on to the stability ball. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pull over on the stability ball. So first, let me show you how to get into position. Sit on the ball, holding the weight either side. I want you to slowly walk your feet out and you want the ball to be supporting your upper back. Tighten your glutes, pull in your core and all we're going to do is you're going to bring the weight back and lift the weight up. Bring the weight back. This move you're going to feel your triceps working, you're going to feel your lats working in your back. But the whole time you're going to have to make sure that you keep that core tight. I want you in a really good position. Remember to breathe throughout the whole exercise. And again, keeping that core nice and tight. Just give me one more. And then come out of the position the same way you went in just walking your feet up before we go on to our next move which is also on the ball but this move is really going to work the chest muscles let me not lose the ball again this time you're going to need two weights start out with really light weights because you're really going to be working the chest muscles so you're going to hold the weights in each hand you're going to slowly roll back out again find that comfortable position supporting the neck making sure that your core is tight, feet are planted on the floor. 
And all we're going to do is called the chest fly. I want you to make sure your eyes are looking up high. You're going to slowly bring the weights out and bring them back together again. Again, there's a slight bend in the elbow joint and we'll bring in weights back to the top. Keeping the core tight the whole time you're really working your core. So although I'm calling this a chest move, it's really a total body move because you're going to be feeling your glutes working, your hamstrings and all of those muscles that help you to stay stable while on the stability ball. Great job, keep it going. Two more. One last one. And again, always making sure that you slowly come out of this move, sitting back up on the ball. You're gonna put the weights back down for a second. You wanna stand up, have a little stretch out, do a little stretch because we're gonna take it from the top and go through again, focusing on form, we're gonna do 12 of each exercise again and go through from the top. So if you're ready, pick up your weights, find that position, feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart, bending the knee, hinging at the hips, we never slump forward. So nice tight core, nice flat back, weights are coming to chest and lowering back down. You always wanna focus on making sure that you use nice, controlled, slow movements now you can always, if ever you really want to challenge your balance, you can always just do one arm at a time. But for this move, we're going to do them both together. Last one. Great job. Let's go into that press now. So again, slight bend in the knee, nice tall spine, and we're going to push up and out in front. Again, this is another one of those exercises where you could do one arm at a time if you like to work on each side. But today, working both sides at the same time, keeping my core tight, remembering to breathe. Really starting to feel this move in the chest, in the shoulders. One more. Time to do one of my favorites. Get back down into that plank row position. Now, like I said, you can do it without weight. So let me show you the second time round. If you're not ready to do weight, find that plank position, nice wide base, and you can just simply lift without the weight. But what I want you to make sure is that your hips are square. Keeping your hips square is important. Give me one more. Let's go to the other side. Again, let's start out without weight. So just lifting, focusing. I don't want to see this movement. I don't want to see you twisting. I want to see that your core is nice and strong. Let me just give two with the weights. Okay, time to get the ball and sit on it, holding just one weight because we're gonna go back to that pullover move. Remember, sit on the ball first, holding your weight, slowly roll out, nice bent position. Let the ball support your upper back and your neck, but tighten your core so that your abs are working, glutes are working, and then let's slowly bend that weight down and pick it back up. The whole time you really just wanna minimize any movement. You wanna try and stay as still as you can with your lower body. Really start to feel my hamstrings working as well as that upper body. Keeping the core nice and tight. Again, you want to aim to do about 12 of each exercise using a moderately sized, sized weight. Something that feels like maybe a 7 or 8 out of 10. Give me one more. Again, always coming out of the position the same way you went in. But this time you're going to need to have your second weight. Sit on the ball and we're going to do that chest fly. So hold the weights in here. If you can have a spotter, maybe somebody can help you. When you're in position, they can pass you the weights. But when you're on your own, just take your time to find the position. Nice, tight glutes, tight core, slight bend in the elbow, and out you go, chest fly. Bringing the weights together.
Nice job. Just remember to breathe through the exercises. If you feel really unstable, you can always put the weights down and just practice the move without weights. And this is a great move that you can do if you don't have a ball. You could always do it on a bench, so no excuses. With the weights, without weights, if you have a ball, great. If not, just do it on the floor even. Give me two more. Keep the glutes tight. Last one. Try to do three sets of each exercise. I like to go from exercise one through five and then repeat. But if you prefer to complete all three sets of one exercise before moving on to the next, that's fine too. Be sure to complete a full warm up before every workout and always allow time to stretch afterwards. Finally, master each exercise using light weights and only increase your weight as you become comfortable. It's important when you're in the gym to address both the front and back of your body. This is another area where even the most seasoned pro may find themselves working what I call their mirror muscles, the ones that we can see.